Hi guys, Bobby Gasher. <laughs> Shaking. <laughs> I, uh, good morning. It's, uh, 4.13 in the morning. Hey, I, I got up late. Had a rough day yesterday. Anyhow, I, uh, what's today? Saturday morning. So Thursday, I go and I get my scooter. I check the mail when I leave. There's nothing in there. So Thursday afternoon, I uh, I go and I get my scooter at my brother's and I drive it home. And as I come home, I, it's going to rain, so I cover the bike up and put all the stuff on it and everything. I put it away. I, I come in and I'm walking in the door. And this thing here is sitting. And it's from Brian. So I know it's the jigs that he painted and made for me. And I go, great. So I go to the to the mailbox to see if there's any letters. I've, I've been expecting stuff in the mail. And uh, there was one of those postal notices saying that uh, there's a package for me down at the post office. Now, I don't know what it is. I know Brian sent me something, and I, I've got a bunch of records uh, for myself and for Brian coming in the mail. You know, who knows how long. So anyhow, I go there, and, and this thing's there. And it's... You see that? That yellow thing there? That means that the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the tax guys at the border that examine packages, whatever you call it. Anyhow, them guys stopped this and they ransomed it on me, right? I, she says, did the woman there at the post office, says, did, did anybody tell you, you, you owe, uh, owe on this package? I says, no. I says, how much is it? She says, 27 something or other and I and I see I says let me see it I see it's from Brian and I go yeah yeah sure I'll pay so you know I get out my cash and I pay for it and I says to the woman I says how come uh, you mean to tell me that they had this down at customs and they opened it because I seen how it was wrapped up and everything right and she says oh yeah and I says listen I've been getting packages from uh in the mail for years now and I've been sending packages and the customs has never bothered and never I never had to pay tax or or they never had to collect tax I says what's going on there and she says to me well the US Customs just started doing that so from now on uh, Brian I know you're gonna send packages to other people instead of putting down the value of the packages or some big number put down like 15 or 20 bucks or something right that's what I'm gonna do I don't know if it'll work or not but but uh you know <laughs> Now, let's let's have a look at this stuff, guys. First thing I'm going to do is I, I took my knife just before I turned on that, that phone there, and I give, you know, everything a slice so, I, you know, it doesn't take too long. I was careful, though, because the last time I, I, I sliced open one, I went and cut an album cover, right? Anyhow, let's uh, have a look, see. I want to open the jigs first because I'm going to probably take them take them this morning a little later on and take them down and wet one of them down in the river mouth <laughs> oh what the hell is this little floats too wow they ever small floats let's have a look see boys see the little floats I think they're small jigs Ryan was calling them pop door Popcorn jigs. I, I think that's the same. Oh, look at that. There's some marabou feather there. Holy shit. Look at them all. What, you painted these? And tied these? Wow, these are professional. Really, Brian? Look, guys. These are really professional, kid. The eyes and all of that kind of stuff. Well, you bought these. <laughs> well, maybe not. These ever neat. These are going to catch fish, no question about it. Jeez, I, was, I just had a pickerel feed yesterday. I, <coughs> I was coming home, <clears throat> and a buddy phones me at, at uh, 3 o'clock. And uh, I was coming home in a cab, and he says, I'm having a pickerel uh, feed right now. You want to come over? I said, you bet. 
So he come over to get me, and as my cab was letting me out of the door, he was driving down the street, and I jumped in his cab, went over to his place, and we did some fish talking and some drinking, and we ate a nice pickerel, uh, pickerel meal, walleye, right? And uh, we might take these, I think, I think I said to him, I cracked him, let's go up to uh, Lake Kuchichin and go get some perch up there. Right now, the perch are in shallow spawning, and you can catch all kinds of them, you know, hundreds, buckets of them. And uh, he wants to go first in April, the first thing in April. And I said, shit, no, let's go now. <laughs> Look at the little wee bobbers. Oh, slip bobbers. There's a couple of slip bobbers here, too. Please catch fish, guys. I always catch fish. Well, pretty much always. Fantastic, Brian. I mean, a fat. these are beautiful, man. I'm going to wet them today or tomorrow for sure, right? Now let's get into the box. What am I going to say? It's heavy as shit, eh? Let's get some room here. Uh, no, I'm going to leave the box there and just take them out one at a time, the records or whatever, right? Okay, let's flip her open. Oh, oh, oh yeah. He mentioned 45s. Look, a bunch of 45s. Oh, there's a letter here. And a car. Let's do that first. The letter. The card. We'll leave the letter. Mr. Bobby Gas, someone is looking out for you, and I'm not talking about me. Well, I've known that my whole life. <laughs> <coughs> This, pa this package came back, and I didn't think it would. And the Soul Comp album I bought for you got lost separately. Laugh out, LOL. Yeah, this this package here, he, he sent this to me like a month and a half ago, but it, you know he sent it to California to the YouTube address. I never thought I'd get it back. He tried, but anyhow, it come back to him, and then he sent it on to me. Uh... Where were we? For you got lost separately. I put it in with uh, these Maynard, the lead singer for Tool. Oh, has another group called the A Perfect Circle. I've heard of them. I put one of these albums in here. Check them out. Check out their YouTube music videos. I think you may dig them. They are different. Everything else you should know, I'm sure. Thanks for being a wonderful human being. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're my YouTube buddy. Me too. Peace, joy, and love, Brian. <laughs> yeah, Brian's a solid guy, eh? Although I don't know nothing about COVID viruses. All that's going to do is kill all the grandparents around, you know. No big deal. Going to free up some uh, money, though. Let's check out the card. Shit. A goat. Was that was one of these in the last one? I think so. Hey, Bobby. Oh, <laughs> <coughs> that's not a goat on the cover. It's a llama. Llamas, llamas will bite your ears off, spit in your face, and kick you in the balls in two seconds flat. Big difference, Brian. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've seen Lambas spitting guys face in zoos or something like that. Mean little bastards or whatever. But I think you can milk them. 
I think the Afghanis, uh, that's where they get their milk and their cheeses from llamas. Hang on, guys, I gotta blow my nose. <laughs> oh, I've always had a wet nose, wet eyes. Look at that, I'm touching my face, all the COVID and shit. That ain't going to stop me. Ain't nothing going to kill me. My germs will kill any Chinese germs, no question about it. Okay, let's get into that rut music. I can, that's a heavy, uh, heavy pack. It's going to be a lot of music in there. All right, let's get into the 45s. All right, put them down here and pick them up one at a time. Columbia, oh, Pink Floyd. I don't think I have any Pink Floyd 45s. Run Like Hell and Don't Leave Me Now. Pink Floyd. A little bit of a smudge, but these are quite playable. 45s from the old days. You know, they're playable like you wouldn't believe. Where can I stick these out? Right here. With my other 45s. Great little 45. That that would be my first Pink Floyd 45. What else? Oh, a green, another Pink Floyd. On a green Columbia. One of my tunes. And another brick in the wall. Part two. Wow, two Pink Floyders. Very cool, Brian. Very cool. You know how much I love the 45s. <laughs> Led Zeppelin, immigrant song. I don't have any Led Zeppelin 45s either. I got a lot of their albums, mind you. Hey, hey, what can I do? I remember the immigrant song. My brother didn't think much of it because it was, uh, he thought it was uh, commercial. Same with, uh, and he's a monster Led Zeppelin fan. Immigrant song. <laughs> These are special 45s. Led Zeppelin again. Here it is here. A whole lot of love. Teddy thought this really, really commercial. Me, I like the tune myself. I remember when I come out on, you know, a Living Loving Mate on the flip side. Led Zeppelin, the Red Atlantic. Wow, these are damn, <laughs> these are pretty good, Brian. All she, Dawn Henley, all she wants to do is dance. Picture disc. What's it on? Oh, Geffen. The Eagles, Don Henley. Oh, another picture disc. Shake Appeal. Who's that spy? Shake Appeal. Who the hell are these guys? Is Tom Bouger, Aaron Kant, Marcella Moore? I guess that's the name of the, the band, Shake Appeal. I never heard of them guys. Brian, his tastes are, you know, all over the place, man. Says a lot about somebody who enjoys, uh, you know, all, all the genres, right? Oh, look at the, look at the label here. Deep. <sighs> Neat. I'll have to play that and see what that's all about. I mean, I like new music. I mean, people cut me up because I'm old guy and I'm listening to all that old music and stuff like that but I dig you know new music and stuff like that I surprise you sometimes all right neat shake shake appeal I'll have to check that out and uh, what do we got here BB King you're mean and the thrill is gone that's what made him right there the thrill is gone that record right there. Actually, uh, this is the record, I think, that made him commercial. It was so successful 
that he stopped doing the, the sort of really good blues and started doing a lot of commercial blues. I'm not such a big fan of B.B. King. Early B.B. I like. I seen him. I seen all the Kings, Freddie King, Albert King, and B.B. King. I never seen Don King with all the hair, though. <laughs> what an idiot, eh? Criminal like that getting away with shit. Well, look at this. Why can't we be friends? War. Fantastic. Wow. <laughs> Great tune. Eric Burton. On a United label. What's on the flip side of that? In Mazalatan. Fantastic. These are great 45s, Brian. Holy shit. Where the hell would you be getting these? You'd never find these in Toronto. In a record store or not, I don't think. Oh, Lisa's going to be jealous. Neil Young comes a time. Yeah, I seen Neil Young first time might have been like 1965 down in the village when he was at a, a, a coffee shop band called the Minor Birds. I used to see him down there because I had a friend. Uh, she was a go-go dancer down there. She was a go-go dancer down at Haight Ashbury first before she come up to Toronto. Neil Young comes a time on reprise, both sides, side one and side two. One's mono, the other stereo. It's a promotional copy, not for sale. Neil Young promo? Wow. You can't have this one, Lisa. I gotta blow my nose again, guy. Jesus, Murphy. <laughs> and have a puff of my smoke. Look at a smile on Neil, eh? <laughs> He's a guy who goes his own way, like I do. Oh, look at this. This is what he was talking about. I remember Brian telling me that he wanted me to check out George Burns. I love George Burns. I always have. Eh? Just, uh, I, I loved his attitude, right? He, I always got a great vibe off of him. And his old lady, Gracie Allen. I understand she was the brains behind it all. What's this? I wish I was 18 again. And it's on a string. Well, I guess that's because the guy hung it up someplace like that. See the string? That string's glued. Yeah, glued to the inside of the package. And it's on Verve. No, Mercury. Is that a Mercury label? Yeah, that's a Mercury label. One of the mysteries of life on one side and the other, I wish I was 18 again. Yeah, me too, George. I wish I was 18 again too. When I was 18, that was, uh, when I was 18, that was 1969, no. I was 20 and 69. I was 1967 when I was 18. The summer of love, I was 18. Well, look at this. 33 and a third. Gloria, written by Van Morrison. Jimi Hendrix. Jesus, Murphy. Jimmy. This has got to be some sort of bootleg or something. It's blank on the back. Well, there's some printing down on the back there. Let's pull this out and have a look at it, guys. Jimi Hendrix. Oh, look at this. On the reprise, which is what he's on, but this must be a British copy or something. I ain't got my glasses here. Where's my... No, this is a uh, made in the USA. Huh. With one of those uh, 1979, oh, much later repress. 
glory on one side. I guess it's just glory on one side. The other side's blank. Doesn't look like there's music on it either. It's kind of... I don't know. It's kind of like speckled or, or squares or something, eh? Doesn't look like it was cut. I don't know. We'll check it out. <laughs> neat, buddy. Really neat, buddy. Holy mackerel. These 45s, they're sensational. They really are. They're, they're goddamn sensational. Wow. Where the hell did you get these? I, I never see none of this kind of stuff. Not ever. Not even when I'm trying to buy them on the internet looking, right? And holy shit. The donkeys? I never heard of the donkeys. <laughs> Let's take that out and have a look, see. The donkeys. <laughs> the donkeys don't let you down look at the label think 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 what's on the flip side hard to pretend do I know that song I don't know geez you got some stuff here I need to check out here sonny wow Jeez, more. Oh, look at this. The electric prunes. Now, believe it or not, I the only thing I have by the electric prunes is I might have 145. I don't think I have any albums. This is on reprise, too. A promotional copy. World of Darkness. And uh, I've got a way of my own promo copper, the electric prunes. Jesus Christ, Brian. Where the hell did you find these? Look at the shape it's in, too. Incredible. This must be new. Can't be, you know, 50 plus years old. Wow. Holy moly. Holy moly. God. I'm going to need a drink. <laughs> it's a pretty sensational bunch of 45s, Brian. More to come here. <laughs> Never heard of these guys either. The fuck nights. <laughs> A taste of puke. <laughs> <I'm gonna... clears throat> the fuck, man. It's a taste of puke. <laughs> 77 virgins. Oh, this is an EP. 77, side A, 77 virgins. Ba baby, come home and be my next hit. Side B, I know that you can hear me. And fine Irish whiskey. Oh, yeah, fine Irish whiskey. And the last one. Unfolding Lotus Insect. Six songs on this EP. This will be really interesting. Boy, oh boy, Bri. Eight records. Eight records. Huh. Oh, not eight. Ace. No, eight. <laughs> the label was kind of like the old Ace label uh, records. That's an old label. Good label. But it's eight records. A play on uh, the looks. And the last one here is... Oh, Goat. Goat. Goat Fuzz. And it says Made in England right there. Goat fuzz. Goat. 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 I don't have nothing by goat. Maybe a, C a CD. I don't know. All right. Let's have a look. See here. Sorry, guys. I got to look at these things. First time I'm seeing them. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, that's the record. Wow, look at that. Is that ever neat? Goat fuzz. And what's it say on this side? Rocket. Well, I never... Spectacular. Really spectacular. Hmm. I'll be checking it out. Quite a, got a, quite a few there I gotta check out. Hmm. Well, these are fantastic 45s, Brian. Really fantastic. You know, did yourself there, son. Wow. I mean, those were amazing 45s, really. I, I'm a 45 collector, and I'm telling you, those are amazing 45s, buddy. Really. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to pull these out one at a time, these albums. The first one up there is Buddy Guy. I've seen Buddy Guy every decade, oh, I guess since 69, right, when I seen him in 69. And he had actually, he come off the stage with like about a 150-foot guitar cord, something like really super long, maybe 300. No, it wasn't 100 yards, but it was 50 yards long, easy. And uh, i never seen anybody do that. There's Buddy Guy, the living legend. Living proof. What label is this? I don't know. Well, it's two albums, a double album set. Wow. That's a black side there. And that's, a, and that's sort of mustard color there. Well, I think that side is blank, got nothing on it. Well, I don't know. We'll see when I, I get them up. Yeah, old buddy. The last of the blues guys, the old great ones. You know, the old standards. He's the last of them. I've seen a lot of blues legends. I mean, I've seen a lot of them. Oh, look at this. I got this one. City to City, Jerry Rafferty. I'll be keeping this one and passing my copy on to somebody else. There's a song on here, which one is it, that I really, really dig. Not Baker Street or, or City to City. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Let's get on with it there, guys. I want to see what the other goodies are. <laughs> Government Mule. Now, I've heard of these guys. I've heard of these guys, but uh, I don't know their music. I imagine I think they're metal. This is a sealed copy, too. Triple striped vinyl. Oh, there's a download card in here, too. Live, bring on the music, Government View, live at the Capitol Theater. First time on vinyl. Record store by release. By release. This must have been a record store day uh, record, eh? Neat. Well, I'll be checking out a new band here for me, anyhow. Boy, I gotta blow my nose again, guys. <laughs> yeah, I got a bad snot. Whoops. Gotta light up another smoke, too. Turn out my flashlight. See this thing here? Regular light. That's a green map reading light. That's, uh, you know, uh, one of them, uh, you know, dots, red dots. And that blinking stuff. That's SOS. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. 
a fisherman give it to me, a buddy of mine. He's always giving me little knives and flashlights and some hats. Okay, what else have we got here? John Mayo and the Blues Breakers. Oh, boy. Oh, Clapton, Stones, Stones Masonry, Savoy Brown Blues Band, Joanne Kelly, T.S. McPhee. I never heard of Joanne Kelly. This is a comp, eh? On immediate records. Love Savoy Brown. And John Mayo. Clapton. I, I seen these guys with most of these guys except for Joe and Kelly and, and McPhee. All right, let's see what kind of label that is. Immediate. I've got a couple of records on Immediate. I think they're blues records too. Come to think of it. Yeah, I like comps. Some people don't like comps. Don't know why. Well, they got their reasons, don't they? But me, I like them. God damn this thing here. You gotta put it in the right way or she don't go in the right way. Well, we'll do it right away sooner or later. Not right now, though, because she ain't going in proper. Put that over there. Oh, look at this. Holy shit. Howlin' Wolf. <laughs> I seen the wolf. He sat with my table. Sat at my table. Sean got me another copy so you get mine. Okay. Yeah, I seen him show this. This record here, eh? Uh, Brian showed this. Chess Records, Howlin' Wolf, His Greatest Sides, Volume 1. Yeah, it's got most of his hits on there. The Wolf is incredible. <coughs> and live, you ain't seen nothing. Unless you've seen... You ain't seen a blues man unless you've seen uh, Chester Burnett, which is his real name, live. I mean, I've seen a lot of blues guys, but uh, his, his presence and his voice, it's just, just amazing, right? It really was. Okay, next up here is uh, The Spell of the Yukon, Stuart Hamblin. With orchestra and chorus. Shake the hand of a man, the lure of the little voices, big wicked bill, make-believe bay, mush... Look at the picture there, eh? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, maybe if I take it out of the plastic, it won't be so shiny, right, guys? <laughs> well, not really. That's a neat cover, 